This is the 5th episode of the Neuroanatomy series. Today we are going to talk about the biology, anatomy and different features of neuron and neuroglia. As I said in the introductory lecture that neuron is the basic cell of the nervous system and the neuroglia are supporting cells of the nervous system. Every system, digestive system, circulatory system, every system have some functional cells and some supporting cells. So neuroglia are the supporting cells of the nervous system. Means the main function of the nervous system is carried by neurons and neuroglia just provide physiological and metabolic support for neuron. They are diverse class of the cells that carry out phagocytosis and produce myelin sheath. We will learn them in detail. In coming lectures, neurons are excitable cells, means they can produce and conduct the current. They have many different sizes and shapes depending on their location, but all the neurons have one cell body whose surface have some projections that are called dendrite and a single long tubule that is called exon. Cell body is like normal cell which has different subcellular organelles and dendrite are the neuri that conduct the uh, impulses to the cell body and the exon conduct the impulses away from the cell body. Now you can compare the impulse with the current in your normal household wires. Unlike other body cells, neurons never regenerate. They only divide and regenerate in the mother's womb. And in the mother's womb, they became mature and never regenerate or divide. Like other cells of the body, neuron cell body has also cytoplasm that has an embedded nucleus. Cell body of the smaller cells can, can measure 5 mm and those that are bigger can range up to 135 mm. As you know, the chromosomes of the dividing cells go through different stages. The chromosomes are uncoiled sometimes, sometimes they are in... Uh, they are in compact stages, sometimes they are single and sometimes in the pairs. But because the neuron does not divide ever in its life, its chromosomes are always in uncoiled form. In the whole nervous system, neurons have many shapes. Let's see some of them here. This is a unipolar neuron. Unipolar neuron has only one neurite. Neurite is called the process or extension that is extending from the cell body. A small neurite that were carrying the signals to the cell body are called dendrites and one tubular neurite that is carrying away the signal from the cell body is called exon. So the unipolar neuron have only one neurite, one extension from the cell body. That single neurite then split to form branches. The branches that take the signal to the neuron are called dendrites and the branches that take away the signal from the neuron are called exons. This type of true unipolar neurons are not found in human, but they are found in invertebrates. Humans have pseudo unipolar neurons. This is a bipolar neuron. The bipolar neuron has two extensions. One is exon and one is dendrites. Both the processes can have many smaller branches. This is a multipolar neuron. The multipolar neuron have many dendrites and one exon. As I said, humans do not have the unipolar neurons. The unipolar neurons are present only in invertebrates, but the human have pseudo unipolar neurons. Actually, biologically, these pseudo unipolar neuron develop as bipolar neuron with two distinct processes extending from the cell body, but eventually the initial segments of those two extensions join to form a T junction that forms it unipolar. So, because they embryologically originate as the bipolar neurons but subsequently become unipolar, so they are called pseudo unipolar neurons. But because humans do not have actual unipolar neurons, so these neurons are referred as unipolar neurons in humans. So, you can call them also unipolar neurons. And both the branches of these unipolar neurons have structural and functional characteristics of exon. And the fine terminal branches of these exons are called dendrites in this unipolar neuron. However, these branches are itself part of exon and exon receives the signal in unipolar neuron and exon itself sends the signals in unipolar neuron. Neurons are also classified as Golgi type 1 neurons and Golgi type 2 neurons. Golgi type 1 neurons are medium to large cells with dense dendritic T's and dendritic protrusions as pyramidal and Purkinje cells of cerebral cortex and motor cells of spinal cord. And Golgi type 2 neurons have very short exon that terminates in neighborhood of the cell body or it can be entirely absent. Just dendrites are there and they are very much abundant in comparison of Golgi type 1 neurons. The short dendrites that arise from these neurons give them a star shape appearance. This is all for today. Today's lecture will be about the action potential of the neuron and how neuron gets excited, how 
action potential generates, how it travels through the neuron, till then for the hours.